thank you so much for watching. If you want to see how I made this dark skin bombshell look, please keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. Getting right into it, of course I will be starting with a primer. This is the one and only Urban Decay Primer Potion. Then I will be using my NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk as always. Now most of the colors I will be using for my eyes are coming from this palette. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Self Made Palette. And the first color I'll be using is this brown called Hot Chocolate. So I'm just blending that into my crease. As you can see, I already did my brows and there's some concealer under. Um, so I'm just blending it all in together to make it seamless. So for my next eyeshadow, I will be using the color called Bitter from my Urban Decay Vice Palette. And this is an amazing transition color, so I'm just going to blend that in my crease as well. So next I'll be going in with this dark brown color. And I'm putting this in my crease as well to add more depth and dimension and I'm mostly concentrating it directly on my crease. Now going back to my Anastasia palette, I will be using this color called Pink Champagne and it's like a pinky gold color. It is highly pigmented. So as you can see, I'm only putting this in the center of my lid and I wet my finger and put my finger into the actual eyeshadow so the pigmentation pops up even more and I'm just dabbing it on my eye. I find that when I want to do like bold shimmery colors or like metallic colors, it's better to apply it with my finger and just dab, 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 dab. And now I'm just blending this in. I haven't put any color on the brush. I'm just blending in what I've done. Going back into the palette, I am going in with the brown called Hot Chocolate. And I'm using this um, in the outer corners and the inner corners of my eyes to add dimension and depth because I want it to be somewhat of like a halo effect on my eyes. So this is doing just that. So now I'm going in with a color called Spirit Rock, which is the black. It has a little bit of sparkle to it, but it's mostly like dry black. And I'm adding that to the inner and outer corners of my eyes as well. I could have left it um, with the brown, but that would have been more of like a soft daytime look. And the black just adds more depth and um, it makes it, you know, a little more sultry more smoky and it makes it bombshell if it didn't have the black it wouldn't be a bombshell look i also decided to add a little bit more of that pink champagne to my eyes because i realized it was fading out and then again i'm blending hashtag blend now i'm going in with the inglot eyeliner this is my favorite eyeliner in the color 77 Now for my face, I'll be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal, as always, in the color Chestnut. And yes, I do blend with my fingers, I ain't about that sponge blending life, that silicone blender life. I mean, I do it sometimes, but usually I love blending with my fingers because the warmth of my fingers warms up the product and makes it seep into my skin. I would love to do a full, detailed highlight and contour video. Thumbs up if you want me to do that video. I would love to do it. And now to highlight under my eyes, I'm going to be using the same product but in a different color. This color is Fawn. And I just, I use this very sparingly because it is um, quite bright. So I just use it mainly as a highlighter. And I just dab it, dab it, dab it, dab it. That's all I do when I put this lighter color on because 
I need to make sure this really gets into my skin very well because it is lighter and if it's not blended well, it is very obvious. So just gently dab in. To set all that, I will be using the Ben Nye Topaz Powder. I ain't about that banana powder life because my chocolate skin is not about that banana powder life. Um, this matches my skin better than banana powder. And I do not, well, um, I guess I'm baking here, but I do not throw on the powder just like that because no need for excess. I mean, this is baking just enough. Now going in with the color Bitter that I used earlier as a transition color, I'm just going to use that under my eyes and this is just going to be the first color I'm using under my eyes. And now taking the color Spirit Rock, the black that I used earlier, I'm going to go along my lash line, my lower lash line, but I'm going closer to my lash line. As you can see, I grabbed a smaller brush so it is closer to my lash line and more concentrated there and I'm taking the same black into my crease because I wanted it a little more sultry a little more smoky and it wasn't doing it for me so I just had to go back in with the color spirit rock again of course blending 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 and after that I just um, wipe off all the excess powder my face will be matte all day and I contoured off camera because I am planning to do that highlight and contour video I talked about before so for the blush I'll be using this pinkish color from my vice palette I mean any color that kind of looks like a blush to me I just use and for highlighting my favorite Lorac tantalizer And here I just put the highlighter in between um, my eyes. I don't put it down the bridge of my nose because it already gives it the illusion that I have it down the bridge of my nose, as you can see here. And then I'm just taking the same color and putting it in my tear duct. Now for lips, I will be using Night Moth to line my lips. This is my favorite lip liner. And now I'm using my NYX Matte Lip Cream in the color Abu Dhabi. Y'all already know about Abu Dhabi. This is one of my favorite lip combos, um, my Night Moth and this color. And now I wanted to glass it up a little, so I am adding my MAC Plush Glass in the color Fulfill. So that is the final look, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and comment and like. I will see you in my next video. God bless. Bye.